Greetings people, my name is Benedict Terry. Let's talk briefly about Fantasia. Designed to be a perfect marriage of music and animation, it represents for some the absolute pinnacle of what animation can do. And you know what happens when such a highbrow attitude emerges? The lowbrows come in and parody the heck out of it! Disney may have ruled the roost in the 30s, but it was the Warner Brothers who took that crown in the 40s, and they weren't shy about mocking the Mouse House either. A Cordy Concerto is a very obvious parody of Fantasia, setting two famous Johann Strauss waltzes to the Merry Melody's usual cartoony slapstick. So get your opera glasses ready, and let's get a closer look. Now we start with- Wait, wait! This is classical music. I can't review it dressed like this. Much better. Now, we begin with our conductor approaching centre stage. Greetings, music lovers. <laughs> First, we will hear a waltz, written by Johann Strauss. <laughs> Get a proper tailor next time, your outfit's too shambolic for classical music. I'm dressed properly. Now the first of two items on our program is Tales from Vienna Woods. In this segment we find Porky Pig and his dog out in Vienna Woods obviously hunting for a certain rascally rabbit. <laughs> Don't you just love it when your most mundane activities warrant classical music? After the usual hijinks, which includes the dog nearly getting shot, Bugs throws the gun away. Unfortunately, this angers a local squirrel into deciding it's hunter season. Porky and his dog appear unscathed, but it appears Bugs has been fatally wounded. Which leads to the dog uttering the funniest sobbing you'll ever hear. Good luck trying to unhear that when you next hear this. Porky tries to offer first aid, but then this happens. <laughs> and they said cartoons were just for kids. And so Bugs ballet dances away, leaving Porky and his dogs so stunned they can only be animated on keyframes. Wasn't that lovely? No it wasn't. I was expecting a nice formal evening, not cheap gags. Now the second half is another Strauss piece, the Blue Danube. In this section we can see a family of swans swimming on the famous river. Hold up, hold up. Swans don't quack, they honk. I know it's nitpicky but I had to mention it. This segment, a very infantile looking Daffy tries to swim along with the swans but constantly gets rejected. Child abuse. Hilarious. Well, at least you can't dock him points for trying. While the swan family swims gaily down the Danube, a hungry vulture suddenly decides it wants roast swan for dinner. Ah, uh, sorry, brunch. Vulture nabs the signets while also showing the same prejudice against Daffy. Something tells me this was made during the war. The swan notices her children are missing and fates on the surface of the water. You'd think a river like the Danube would be a little deeper than that. Daffy notices the vulture flying off with the signets and immediately starts following him. Yep, this is definitely a wartime era cartoon, no doubt. The vulture lets go of the signets in terror, but Daffy catches up with him... ...and straight up kills him. No, seriously, watch this. You see? The only other place you see an outfit like that is at a Christmas party. After straight up committing murder, Daffy is finally allowed to swim and quack along with the swans, though it appears his reflection is still a little absent-minded. It is- And so concludes a corny concerto. 
Those tunes were quite loony, you'd have to admit. It is worth noting at this point that parody films don't have a good reputation at the moment, so this one didn't have to do much to clear the bar. But it did do a lot, and it clears the bar by a long shot. Sense of humour? Just what I expect. Timing? Spot on. Animation? Great. Usually. If you have time, check this one out. I promise you won't be disappointed. Still though, I have been reviewing cartoons I have nostalgia for, which means my opinions are going to be a little biased. Next time though, I'm going to be reviewing what I didn't watch as a child, so let's see what we've got in store. <laughs> well, it is Halloween. I think even I can allow something a little dark. See you then. Hopefully. <laughs>